This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. The next topic consider the balance balancing chemical equation. Okay. Next topic is balancing chemical equation. Uh, according to the law of conversation of mass, a balanced chemical equation has the same number of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. According to the conversation of mass, law of law of conversation of mass okay according to the law of conversation of mass it should have the same number of atoms of each element on both side of the equation correct so many chemical equations can be balanced by trial and error method okay so law of conversation of mass same number of atoms of each element should on both side of the equation means in this in the equation there are the products and also there are the reactants okay so in both side of the equation there should be number of atoms next so let us consider some of the equation so that you can understand uh, let us consider the reactions of few metals and non metals with oxygen to give the oxides okay so 2 fe iron fe means when it is reacted with oxygen so which gives 2 Fe two O three. Okay. So where yes means solid, G means gas. So this is a this equation is balanced equation. Now see here two. Sorry here. This is 4. Okay. So G, just 2 into 2 here 4. So that uh, Fe is having 4. Then oxygen should have 3 into 2 is 6. 3 into 2 is 6. So that uh, in product side and uh, in this is the reactant side and this is the product side. The atoms are same. This is one example. Then consider the next one. Hmm. Next one is 2. Mg which is of solid in state magnesium when which is reacted with the oxygen so that you should get 2 MgO which is of solid state so this is also a balanced equation okay so this is also a balanced equation then I will give the example for now you know then the next one is I will give so you just now you see the balanced equations now I will write please recognize this the identify this is balanced or not plus oxygen this is which gives P4 O10 of solid so here consider four the p is having four atoms so like here also four atoms that is okay but for oxygen it should here it is having 10 it is having 2 so that it should in the reactant side it should be 10 so that if you are multiplying this by 5 so that you are getting a balanced chemical equation okay so just you in the examination they will ask balanced chemical equation but so unbalancing chemical equation should be converted into balanced chemical equation okay so uh, this is about balance to chemical equation next uh, i will tell you the steps how to convert 
unbalanced equation to balanced chemical equation let us take the combustion of propane 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 okay propane means which is of c3h8 okay when this equation can be should be balanced okay so combustion of propane consider this is propane combustion of propane so example now i am giving you please note down the steps okay the combustion of propane okay so combustion of propane means in the step one in step one combustion write down the correct formula of reactants and products okay first here propane and oxygen are reactants and carbon dioxide and water are the products when propane c3h8 when it is reacted with the oxygen okay combustion it is reacted with the oxygen so that which gives a product of so c3h8 this is propane is gas oxygen is also a gas so when it is reacted with this and which gives a carbon dioxide which is also in a gaseous state and then the water okay h2o so liquid so these are the reactants and these are, this is the product this is step one write down the equation and the next one balance the number of carbon atoms first balance number of carbon atoms okay so number of carbon atoms should be balanced see see here here which is having three atoms here which is having only one atom so that if you are multiplying it by three should so you will get equal carbon atom so c3h8 plus oxygen which is also in gaseous form so which gives 3 co2 plus h2o okay see now the carbon is balanced but consider here oxygen now which is here oxygen having the six atoms but here only which is having the two atoms okay so balance the next number of uh, before going to balance the oxygen so take the number of third one number balancing number of uh, hydrogen atoms how to balance number of hydrogen atoms consider at the reactant side which is having the eight okay here which is having the two so that if you multiplying just this is a trial and error method so uh, here c3 h8 plus oxygen is there so which 3 co2 then you are multiplying 4 this is h2 2 multiplying 4 you are getting 4 2 is 8 so this is okay now okay so this is about 4 now here balanced here oxygen having 8 atoms so now 4 into 2 which is having 8 atoms this is number of hydrogen atoms and the next one is step 4 okay so in step 4 balance the number of oxygen atoms balance the number of oxygen atoms now okay so in this balance number of oxygen atoms so here in that is c3h8 so which is in the last step we have calculated for hydrogen atoms 3 co2 plus 4 h2o so this is the previous step okay so now in the fourth step you have to balance the oxygen atoms of so here oxygen atom which is having the 2 but here 3 to the 6 and plus here 4 atoms so there are the uh, 6 plus 4 there are total 10 oxygen atoms so, so that you have to make it here there should be 10 if, if it is multiplied with 5 so you will get 10 so that c3h8 this is gaseous in form so then it is multiplied with 2 so you will get 
oxygen atom 10 4H2O so then after this is the step 3 step 4 next is step 5 so verify the number of atoms of each element is balanced or not in the final equation this is the final equation now final equation so all equations that have correct formulas for all the reactants on products can be balanced always remember that subscripts in formulas of reactants on products cannot be changed to balance an equation so this is about balanced chemical equation so in this balanced chemical equation law of conversation of mass according to the law of conversation of same number of atoms of each element on both side of the equations that is both side means reactants and products okay in the equation should be same so these are the example for balanced chemical equations and you should now the example for the unbalanced chemical equations how to balance unbalanced chemical equation first you, you write the combustion of this and write the reactants and products after that balancing the one one after that carbon atoms then we have considered hydrogen atom and next to in this oxygen atom this is the final equation okay and the next is stoichiometry and stoichiometric calculations so, okay in stoichiometry the word stoichiometry okay which is derived from the two greek words stoichion stoichion okay so in stoichion which means stoichion means element okay so now the matron matron means measure so i will give the stoichiometry and stoichiometry calculations example so stoichiometry thus deals with the calculations of masses of the reactants and the products involved in a chemical reaction okay it gives the calculations of masses of the reactants deals with deals with the calculation of masses and masses of the reactants and products involved in a chemical reaction so this is about the stoichiometry okay let us consider the combustion of methane okay uh, I just given the example for combustion of methane for balanced chemical equation CH4 of this it is 2 O2 oxygen so which gives the uh, for balanced chemical equation CO2 gas plus 2 H2O this is of liquid form okay so in this here methane and dioxide oxygen are called reactants and the carbon dioxide and water are called products okay which is here so these are called the reactants and this is called the products okay so note that all the reactants and products are uh, gases okay note that all the reactants are products in the gases okay in the above reaction and this has been indicated by the letter g in the brackets all are g okay so it is a reactants in the brackets next to um, the formula similarly in the case of solids liquids and gas if here uh, there, there is a solid means solid like liquid liquid we are representing like this so the coefficients coefficient 2 for oxygen like uh, and H2O are the called stoichiometric coefficients. This is called uh, or this is called stoichio metric coefficients. 
okay this is called stoichiometric coefficient similarly uh, the coefficients for ch4 and co2 is one in each case here it is having only one ch4 is having one and co2 is also having one stoichiometric coefficients okay thus according to the above chemical reaction one mole of ch4 reacts with the two moles of oxygen to give one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water so this is about next so the uh, here mass is related with the mole moles okay then which is number of moles okay so this can be written as mass divided by volume this is equal to density so this is about the stoichiometric uh, about stoichiometric coefficients okay and uh, then mass mass by volume is equal to density so uh, this is about stoichiometry and stoichiometric calculations okay next i will explain you about stoichiometric calculations next so